My spark story began in 2010, or so I thought, when I was in my final year of high school. I was in the process of looking into universities and different courses that I might be interested in. In the process, my parents asked me to complete an aptitude test to see what different career possibilities there were for me based on my interests and my abilities. One particular section of the test involved shapes and logic and reasoning and putting things in the right orientation in the right order so they made a sequence. Now, I didn't think anything of that section at at the time, but after I got my results, and although engineering wasn't an option or one of the top options, my careers counsellor sat me down and discussed what was involved in the test and my thoughts about it. So I explained to her of the section about the shapes and logic and how much I actually really enjoyed it. And after about five seconds, she said to me, she said, Nicole, have you thought about engineering? And that was it. When I think about it now, my spark story actually began a lot earlier. I've always been interested in how things work, why things work, and particularly how they're created and why they're created. And so when I look back now, there was a lot of competitions, a lot of challenges, um, and a lot of museums that I enjoyed going to when I was younger, but no one ever pointed it out. It was never seen as an option for myself. I've always wanted to do physiotherapy. So engineering is quite a, quite a big difference. But that was it. Once someone has pointed out engineering to me, I haven't looked back. I now work um, or study at the University of Melbourne in Australia in the Masters of Structural Engineering and do my work with Rebra Girls to potentially create that spark story for other people and other girls around the world.